These are the best jump shots for every build in 2K25. So no matter if you're a seven footer, a shorter shooting big or lockdown, a small guard, an ISO build, or a sharpshooter, you will have a good jump shot by the end of this video. And all of these jump shots are tested and approved by competitive players around the 2K community. So make sure to hit that subscribe button for me putting y'all on and drop a like on this video. And let's start with jump shot number one. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And this first jump shot right here is coming from my boy, Sprague2K, who is a very elite player when it comes to the big man position. And he's been using this seven foot one Wemby build, and he has been absolutely cooking with it thanks to this jump shot right here. Now he's rocking a 74 three-pointer and an 80 mid-range. And as you can see from the clips, I mean, he's shooting fading, fading mid-ranges. He's shooting threes. He's shooting catch and shoots. He's really just shooting anything with this jump shot. And yeah, y'all are gonna, if y'all are a big man out there, especially a taller big man, you're definitely gonna wanna look into testing this jump shot out. Now the base is gonna be Jonathan Isaac, release one, LaMarcus Aldridge, and release two is going to be Franz Wagner. Now we'll get into the blending, the speed, and what kind of setting you want in a second here but i mean just look at look at this webby build just going crazy like he is so much taller than everybody he's shooting over everybody here is the full jump shot details 89 percent franz wagner 11 percent lamarcus aldridge hey man this this jump shot is the absolute soup for my tall big big man builds out there because i know a lot of y'all are not getting a lot of love with these jump shot videos not a lot of people are giving y'all this sauce this jump shot right here though this is gonna make you a very consistent shooter once you learn the timing. Now, the second jump shot is coming from my boy Jarius Twin. Now, if you guys don't know who he is, he is always one of the best stretch big shooting bigs in the game. And he's actually played in some pretty big waders and games. Uh, he played against Ty Sino with Duke Dennis in that big wager in 2K19. And he's even played a lot with Poor Boys in the past. And he is a very competitive big man player. And he has a great seven foot plus jump shot build for y'all today. I mean, he's really shooting a lot of threes out here. When he's shooting the ball with these footer builds, he's usually doing a catch and shoot three, which I feel like most of y'all out there, that's what you're looking for as a footer build. Just a jump shot that you can catch at the three point line and spark up with. And that's exactly what he's doing with this jump shot right here. Now his jump shot, you only need a 75 three pointer or mid range four. And he's actually using Bam out of bio base for this which is kind of crazy. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a Bam out of bio base and jump shots in other 2Ks in the past, but that's what he's using in this gameplay right here. And he has released one at LaMarcus Aldridge and release two is actually default big, which maybe is the reason why this jump shot is so cheap. And he's on push timing, which I do recommend. Max re release speed, of course, 55% LaMarcus Aldridge and 45% default big. So jump shot number three is gonna be for my small guards out there. So that's gonna be ranging from 5'9 to 6'3. And this jump shot specifically is coming from my boy Fana. And if you guys don't know who Fana is, shout out to him. He is a professional or was a professional 2K league player. And he's always one of the top 2K guards every year. So trust me, when he says a jump shot is good, he is usually right, okay? So he's actually using Kyrie Irving base in these clips. And as you can see by the clips, this jump shot not only looks super smooth, but it is super fast and very easy to time. Jump shots that are very visually pleasing are always visibly easy to time, especially, you know, because we're not using our meter, right? So the, the jump shots that are, you know, easy to time are the ones that have a very easy visual cue to look at. And that's going to be this Kyrie Irving base right here. I mean, he is not missing out here. He's been going crazy with this jump shot. And Kyrie Irving base, not only is it a fast and easy to time jump shot, but of every basically every single small guard is going to be able to unlock this jump shot because you only need a 93 pointer or a 90 mid range to put on this jump shot and guess what basically every small guard guard is going to get that i mean he's getting crabs he's getting crazy animations and basically anytime this dude is getting open for three he's cash money okay so here's the full jump shot details right here and that's going to be kyrie irving base oscar robertson released one and anthony simons released two 
Now, he's more on the release side. For my small guards out there, I would recommend going release timing or somewhat close to release timing as release and push are obviously going to give you more time to read and react to your jump shot. And we all know that small guards have the fastest jump shots in the game. But anyways, he's going to do 80% Oscar Robertson, 20% Anthony Simons, and of course, max release speed. And yes, I would recommend putting this on release timing. So jump shot number four right here is also for my small guards. So once again, 5'9 to 6'4. And this jump shot's coming from my boy Chad. Shout out to him. He is always, if you guys don't know who Chad is, he is always one of the top guards in the game. He competes in a lot of wagers. And I've actually completed or competed in a lot of wagers with him. Now, he's been super consistent to start 2K25. He's usually regarded as one of the best shooters in every 2K. And once again, he is going to be one of the best shooters in this 2K. And it's because of this jump shot right here that he found. Now, he's actually using base Cam Thomas. And if you guys haven't heard already, Cam Thomas base is actually one of the best bases in this 2K, especially for the small guards out there. Now, this jump shot, you only need an 86 three-point or mid-range for. So really, any small guard out there should be getting this jump shot like if you didn't put an 86 or higher midi or three on your small guard build then I, I don't know what you were doing so basically every small guard should be able to unlock this jump shot so yeah he is using cam thomas base uh you see he's even you're gonna see in this clip right here he's even making like heavily jump or heavily contested jump shots uh with this build uh he's also using release one darius garland trey man release two and here are all the full details right here. He's actually using max speed. And he has 59% Darius Garland, 41% Trey. Man, once again, max speed. And he's also on release timing, which once again, I would recommend to all my small guards out there considering your guys' jump shots are gonna be the fastest jump shots in the game. And yes, release timing is gonna give you more time to read and react to what animation and shot you are getting. And with those fast jump shots, you're going to need more time to read and react to them. So yeah, release timing. And jump shot number five is going to be for my 6.5 to 6.9 builds out here, especially if you are a spot up, a shooting big, a lockdown. This jump shot is definitely going to be for you. And it's coming from Jay Curry. And look at, I mean, he's shooting back fading threes on the first possession. That's his body. Now, this is Jay Curry. Now, Jay Curry is kind of known for being made fun of, for being 50, missing open shots in some 2Ks. But guess what? He can't be made fun of that for any more, anymore because with this jump shot equipped, he's making everything. He's greening every shot, okay? So if you're one of those guys out there that maybe he's getting made fun of because he can't hit an open shot or is being dared to shoot, then maybe you got to try out this jump shot here from Jay Curry, okay? Now, I mean, he's pulling off the rip. He's greening every shot. He's been super consistent in this 2K, and it's crazy because this 2K, a lot of people are struggling to shoot, but Jay Curry, no, he is not struggling to shoot. He is going crazy with his jump shot, and he's actually using base Torian Prince. And if you know anything about base Torian Prince, you know that I use that jump, that base as well, and I've been going crazy with it as well. Now, he's also using release one Malcolm Brogdon and release two Kevin Durant. Now, I mean, in this gameplay, you can see he's just pulling anything, and it's crazy because because in this clip right here, he's not even playing with a good guard. He's on a whole spot of build carrying because he is that good of a shooter with his jump shot. Now here are the full jump shot details. He also has max release speed, 37% Malcolm Brogdon, 63% Kevin Durant, and he is on push timing, which I would recommend for these heights and builds that can get this jump shot. And you only need an 84 mid range or three point or higher for this jump shot. Jump shot number six is also for my 6.5 to 6.9 players, specifically more for spot ups like lockdowns and poppers and stuff. And this jump shot specifically is coming from my boy Iggy Mo. So shout out to him. If you don't know who Iggy Mo is, he is a professional 2K league player and he's a very good big man in every single 2K. And he's actually was struggling in the beginning of this 2K to shoot, but ever since he equipped this jump shot right here, his struggles have disappeared. And now he is a consistent shooter like he usually is in every single 2K. And he is actually using base Jalen Tyson. Now, I didn't even, I think this is the first year that base has even been a thing. Because personally, I've never heard of base Jalen Tyson until I've seen this jump shot right here. But he is also using release one Oscar Robertson and release two Charles Bassey. Now, 
Igimo, unlike other jump shots that we have shown from 6.5 to 6.9, is actually using release timing. Now, I would recommend push with these heights, but if you can't shoot with push, maybe you're getting a lot of slightly earlies or slightly lates or whatever. Maybe try release. But here are the jump shot details. He is 40% Oscar Robertson and 60% Charles Bassey. But yeah, maybe test release because it's working for Igimo. Jump shot number seven is also a jump shot for 6.5 to 6.9 players. And you're going to unlock this jump shot as long as you have an 83 or higher mid range or three pointer. Now, this jump shot is coming from my boy, A. Cardi. Now, he actually has ball handle on his popper build. So yeah, this jump shot you can really use for dribbling builds, you can use for spot up builds really whatever you want to and he's been going crazy with this jump shot you see he's fading threes he's been shooting from deep with this jump shot and he's been very consistent to start this 2k and it's weird because he actually struggled to start 2k24 but even though he struggled to start 2k24 he ended up becoming one of the best shooters in the game but this year he's not struggling to start 2k25 because he has this jump shot equipped and he's actually using base Jarrett culver which actually makes his jump shot look a little like Tracy McGrady. And if you guys know anything about base Tracy McGrady, it's not available right now in 2K25 until you get like starter four, but it is one of the best bases in 2K because of one, it's very easy to time, two, it's pretty fast, and number three, it's very hard to contest, just like the Jarrett Culver base, okay? Now, he's also using Release 1 Sadiq Bay. If you guys know anything about Release 1 Sadiq Bay, it's usually paired with Oscar Robertson, and yes, he's using Release 2 Oscar Robertson. Now, Sadiq Bay and Oscar are releases that I also use on my jump shot, and the reason this release combo is a popular release combo um, that is used in custom jump shots is because it is very good for visual cues of knowing when to time your jump shot so when he looks at his jump shot he knows exactly when to time it because this release cue makes it very obvious of when to release his button okay so that's another reason why this jump shot is very easy to time and very consistent for the people that use it and look at i mean he's shooting from way out there and improving rounds where the difficulty is at its highest but anyways here are the details of the jump shot 27 percent sadiq bay 73 percent oscar robertson and he is a little behind push and yeah, I would recommend going push on this jump shot. Jump shot number eight is going to be for builds from 6.5 to 6.9. Now, this jump shot is used by a sharpshooter. So if you're a sharpshooter out there, this could be the jump shot for you. And this jump shot is coming from my boy Cash Out. So shout out to him. Now, if you guys don't know who Cash Out is, Cash Out is actually the number three highest rep in the world right now on 2k25 so he's been playing the game a lot he's had a lot of time to test jump shots and he said this is going to be his main jump shot for 2k25 because is by far the best he is fading from limitless he is going crazy shooting from deep shooting contested shooting really whatever he wants and he's been having a lot of success with his jump shot and he's been using a base that a lot of people are starting to find out about and grasp onto and that base is jacoby walter yeah another base i I've never heard of maybe a new base that's in 2K, but yeah, release one LaMelo ball, release two Oscar. He's got a 50-50 blend, and he actually is the only person in this video with not max release speed. He has three, four speed. Now, personally, I would recommend you up that to max speed, but he's on push timing which i would recommend for this jump shot as well now getting to the last and final jump shot this is my jump shot now i put a bunch of these fade clips on twitter and there were people genuinely thinking i have a zen like actually there are people after watching these clips that i got with this jump shot that genuinely think i'm cheating on 2k25 so if that doesn't tell you how good this jump shot is then i don't know what is because I've been going crazy with this jump shot, especially in the park. I mean, I'm literally just shooting anything, bro. Like anything I got open, I'm shooting. And this is on a 6-6 six, six build. So yeah, it's going to be for 6-5 to 6-9 heights. And yeah, I'm using Torian Prince base. We talked about that base earlier in the video, but I'm not using the releases that uh, Jay Curry was using with them. I think that's the jump shot that he had. Uh, I'm using Oscar and Sadiq, which is a release combo we did talk about earlier in the video. Here are the blending percentages. I am on push uh, timing as well. So if you guys were looking for my jump shot in this video, this is the jump shot I am rocking. And if you guys have a jump shot that wasn't included in today's video, make sure to comment it down below. And if you use any of these jump shots, let me know how they work out for you. Make sure to drop a like on the video for me providing jump shots for all types of builds and ratings. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on the road to 1 million subscribers. It's been your boy Henry, aka Double H. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.